So what's up guys? If you like me, you take a lot of notes. If you're also like me, you lose a lot of notes. Or maybe you just run out of notebooks. Or maybe you just don't keep them so organized. Apparently there's a solution to all those issues. That solution is a rocket book Everlast. Will it really solve all my problems? I guess we'll find out. So here it is, the Rocket Book Everlast, endlessly reusable intelligent notebook, create, scan, erase. Friction pen included. Point of order, if you want this to work properly, you have to use the pen from the friction line. You can test it with other ones, but that's what they say to use. So you turn it over. There's a description on the back. It has a link where you can get the, the Rocketbook app. Here's the different features. It says a rate with moisture. It's cloud connected. These are the various apps that it works with for syncing the notes. It's instantly organized, seven symbols. I guess each of those symbols designate whatever folder in the cloud you want to, the note to be sent to. But of course, if you want to get more info on this, I'll be dropping a link in the description below to Amazon, where you can, you know, take a closer look. You can purchase it off of there if you want to. But yeah, of course you want to see this thing in action. So let's get to it. So yeah, guys, when I opened it up, it said that you should only use friction pens and markers made by Pilot. So you can refine it, it says you can find replacements in different styles and colors and stores all over the place. So yeah, just to let you know, only use pens from the friction line. Cool. Okay, so I've downloaded the Rocketbook app, have a friction pen it came with. I have a damp piece of paper towel and a dry piece of paper towel. I've also associated the various symbols with different folders in my Google Drive app. So like for example, I, here I have the Rocket logo is associated with the Rocket folder in my Google Drive. The diamond image here is associated with the diamond folder, the Apple image associated with an Apple folder. And then to test out the other functionality like the email, I have this bell symbol associated with an email address. So it should email me the, the uh, PDF file um, with the hashtag Rockabook because that's what I designated. Um, all right, so see how this works. All right, we're gonna do a little greeting. Hello. My fans. And because it's in the rocket folder, let's just put rock cat. Little smiley face. All right, I take off the rocket symbol. And what I should do is I take my app here, click the camera icon, and then I get everything within the frame. All right, so it's scanned it. See, that's the picture I scanned below. And here's a blue, a green check mark or a trash can. I want the green check mark because I want to submit it to the folder. Hit that. I can name the file. Hit send. Boom. And it tells me here that it was it finished sending the note. But let's see. Take my damn paper towel. Okay. Erasing pretty well. Okay. 
try that off. All right. Okay, now we want to send something to the diamond folder. So let's write something again now that we have a clean sheet again. Let's draw a little diamond here just to get some clear distinction. Uh, ooh, sparkles. Oh. Don't judge my drawing now. Okay, then we take off the diamond signal, take the rocket book up, and do the same thing again. Scanning. Okay, hit the green check mark, ask for the name of the file, I'll leave it as is. Send. Now we want to make sure that the email works. That's the other functionality I wanted to test. Make sure it emails it to me because I don't have any of the other apps set up. So make sure that should dry. Let's put e mail. Don't judge my drawing or writing, whatever. Okay. So. And that, okay, the check mark, ask me to send. So let's make sure it did what it was supposed to. All right, so as you can see here, my Google Drive folder, I have the folders associated with the different symbols here. So let's make sure they got it right. So open up the rocket folder, I should see the one designated for the rocket symbol, all right. And there it is. That's what I did for the rocket folder. So got that right. And I also did one for the diamond folder. Let's see. Boom. There it is. The note I did for the diamond folder. So that's working. Now we want to see that our email functionality is working. All right, so here I am in my email and you can see it sent it. Let's check the attachment. Make sure it got it right. Looks like it did. And there it is, my beautiful artwork. There are notes. So as you can see, it does what it's supposed to do. So there you have it the Rocketbook Everlast Notebook. Will I be replacing all my notebooks? No. Will I be using it often? Probably. I like the convenience of being able to write down what I need to, scanning it and it shoots it off to whatever folder I need it in, allows me to not have to worry about losing my notes and keeping everything organized. I also like the fact that with one notebook, I can continue to write notes over and over again by just wiping it down and drying it off and using it again. That's convenient, save a little bit of money. But I'm leaving a link for this item in the description down below for you to check it out yourself. We've reached the end of this video, guys. You already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.